Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about euthanasia for animal studies. In our previous lecture, we have discussed about the various anesthetic agents used for animal studies during the experiments. Now, euthanasia is another technique which is commonly used in animal studies. So let's see. Euthanasia, it means a gentle death. It is an act of a human method of sacrificing an animal with a minimum of physical and mental suffering. So, euthanasia causes the death of the animal with minimum physical and mental suffering. These methods should be painless, avoid excitement and achieve rapid unconsciousness and death in the animal. So, this is a painless method. It avoids the excitement as uh, given in the anesthesia and rapid unconsciousness and death can be observed by this method. This method is reliable, reproducible and irreversible. It is important to recognize symptoms of fear, distress and anxiety prior to euthanasia. So before going for the, this technique, euthanasia, one has to observe the fear, distress, and anxiety in the animal. These symptoms may also include distress, vocalization, attempt to escape, aggregation, freezing, salivation, urination, and defecation. Now, uh, during euthanasia, animals should not be present during euthanasia of other animals, especially of their own species. So, you can do this uh, euthanasia separately from the other animals because an animal should not be killed in a room where other animals are housed. In particular, in case of a bloody method of euthanasia, example, decapitation. Because if you do this method in presence of other animal, might be they will produce certain types of anxiety in them. Suitable control on the animal minimizes the pain, distress, fear, and anxiety in the animal at the time of euthanasia. Then gentle handling, stroking, and talking to the animal during euthanasia often have a calming effect on many animals. The use of sedating and immobilizing drugs may be necessary in those cases where the animal shows the stroking and all these things. Where capture or restraint may cause pain, injury, or anxiety to the animal. In case where the restraint and capture may produce the pain, injury, or anxiety to the animal, in such cases, the sedative drugs and immobilizing drugs may be helpful. Euthanasia can be extremely harmful to the animals if it is badly performed. So, it required a trained person, experienced person. It can be carried out very properly. If it is not done properly, it will affect the animal. All persons should be well trained. Those who are doing the euthanasia, they should be demonstrated professionalism and be sensitive to the importance of animal life or values of animal. After euthanasia, it is essential to confirm the animal get died or the death is confirmed and it can be confirmed by cessation of heartbeat and respiration and absence of reflexes. One has to observe the heartbeat, respiration and reflexes. If all these things are absence, it can considered that they, it is confirmed that the animal get death. Death must be guaranteed by exaggeration or removal of the heart destruction of the brain, decapitation, evisceration, or the presence of rigor mortis. This euthanasia, there are two types of methods used for euthanasia in laboratory animal. One is the physical method and another is the chemical agent. So under physical methods of uh, euthanasia, the first method is the stunning. Under stunning, there are three to four different methods. Let's see one by one. First method is the concussion stunning. Concussion 
may be sufficient in small animals like rodents like rat mice to achieve the unconsciousness and is performed by a blow to the head so by this process you have a rod and you blow on the head of the animal it will immediately undergo unconsciousness second method is electrical stunning this types of stunning is commonly used in slaughter houses predominantly for killing the pigs so here it is shown the pigs having electrical rod and this stunning electrode this is the equipments uh, this is the electrode which is placed at the head side and from this the current has to be uh, released which produces the stunning uh, or unconsciousness in the animal or death of the animal it is the electrical stunning then third method is captive bold stunning it is a common and effective method for large animal in the slaughter house to achieve unconsciousness so this method is used in slaughter house for large animals these are adapted equipments can also be used for larger rabbits in biomedical laboratories in biomedical laboratories if you want to produce euthanasia in rabbits then these techniques are useful the corrective localization of the captive bolt is important in order to achieve immediate destruction of the brain so when you are using this captive bolt equipments so correct location on the brain side is important to produces the destruction of the brain and produces the euthanasia so in this figure it is shown how this captive bolt stunning is carried out here this is in rabbit and this is the captive bolt equipment then next method is cervical dislocation it is a simple method and in most of the laboratory with small animal the cervical dislocation is uh, performed it destroy the brain stem but the large vessels up to the brain are often intact all these methods have to be followed immediately by an act to force and guarantee death example exsanguination removal of the heart or destruction of the brain so here in this figure it is shown how the cervical dislocation is carried out with the finger tip you hold the neck and with another hand just push the tail towards your side so it will disconnect this cervical uh, connectivity of sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system and the animal undergo euthanasia then decapitation decapitation it is the process in which the head is separated from the neck which causes an immediate interruption of the blood circulation to the brain and a fall in blood pressure in the brain with subsequent loss of consciousness so in this case there is a separation of the head as shown in the figure head of the animal from the body immediately and once it carried out the blood supply to the brain is hampered and the animal get uh, died this is valid only for warm blooded animals in cold blooded vertebrates it is recommended to stun the animal prior to decapitation due to their higher resistance against anoxia for decapitation of smaller laboratory animal specific guillotines have been developed as shown in the figure this is guillotines it is a instrument which is used for Uh, carried out the decapitation in the animal and this is the rat which are decapitated and euthanized then another method of physical uh, euthanasia is microwave irradiation so it is used by neurobiologist for fixation of brain metabolites without destruction of brain anatomy only specific equipments developed for this purpose must be used no domestic microwave is used a specific uh, instrument is uh, used only it is used essential to localize correctly the microwave beam only the brain of the animal so by this way this technique is used then chemical methods are recommended for euthanasia so in chemical method most of the chemicals are used to produces the euthanasia the most suitable chemicals for euthanasia are certain anesthetics in overdose so if you use anesthetic drugs in overdose it will produces euthanasia 
in this case the anesthetic agent causes unconsciousness followed by the death in the animal volatile anesthetic such as halothane influren isoflurin and methoxyflurin should only be used in a gas scavenging apparatus so for volatile uh, gases we have to prepared a specific apparatus and via this specific apparatus you can induce the euthanasia one more method where carbon dioxide are used at high concentration that is 80 to 100% which causes unconsciousness within a few second injectable anesthetics are also used predominantly the barbiturates such as sodium phenobarbitals these are most widely used and the most appropriate agent for euthanasia for most of the animals so for different different uh, species of animal what types of techniques are uh, useful are given here for mouse you can use decapitation cervical dislocation then euthanasia with 80% carbon dioxide then euthanasia with atmosphere of suitable volatile anesthetics and sodium pentobarbital this can be used for rat you can use cervical dislocation then euthanasia 80% carbon dioxide this is given that carbon dioxide chamber here one is the inlet for carbon dioxide and it is the outlet for removal of oxygen so one uh, situation one time come when this chamber is full of carbon dioxide so rat will not get oxygen and it will get died then uh, volatile anesthetics you can use sodium pentobarbital and microwave irradiation for hamster decapitation then carbon dioxide then volatile anesthetics and sodium pentobarbital are used for guinea pig you have decapitation then euthanasia then volatile anesthetics and pentobarbital sodium you can use then for rabbit you can go with the stunning then con consusionis sodium pentobarbital then t61 at a dose of 0.3 ml per kg strictly intravenously via catheter what is t61 t61 is a mixture of local anesthetics hypnotics and curare form components and these are used then for cat you have used sodium pentobarbital and t61 then for cattle sheep goat and horse you use sodium pentobarbital at a dose of 100 mg for larger animals then for dog again sodium pentobarbital and t61 are recommended then for primates like monkey you have sodium pentobarbital at a dose of 100 mg per kg iv then t61 compounds can also be given uh, to the primates then ferret sodium pentobarbital at a dose of 120 mg per kg ip can be administered so this is all about the euthanasia used in the small animal so for uh, more detail you can go with the uh, vogel drug discovery uh, uh, as a reference book it uh, has uh, all the things uh, in details if you like this uh, video then subscribe like and share and give your valuable comments thank you for uh, your patience listening of this video thank you.